Talking Football on WTNS with Steve Corries and Casey Claxon. Welcome to Talking Football here on WTNS. I'm Casey Claxon, back again with Steve Corries. Talking Football brought to you each and every week by Coshocton Regional Medical Center, your local health care team supporting local athletics. Coshocton Regional Medical Center, where care matters most. Coos, before we start, let's take a look at the game that you called last week, saw the Ridgewood Generals fall at home against Indian Valley. You know, it was a good football game. Indian Valley, uh, well, Ridgewood really started with a big kickoff return, got up 7 nothing, but Indian Valley responded and got a touchdown. Then they added another, and uh, it was just a tough night all the way around for the Generals. Uh, they did a nice job second half getting back in the game, uh, but uh, a big touchdown early in the fourth quarter by Indian Valley kind of salted it away, and uh, they went on to get the victory. This week, the Generals will lock up with Claymont. That's another IBC game. Be the final regular season home game for Ridgewood. You know, really, it's a, a, they're playing a team with a record of three and five, but it's a big game. You know, now you're starting to th think really about the playoff points, and you know, with three wins from Claymont, it's an important game. They have to be ready to go when they with uh, Claymont coming in on Friday night. Moving on to the Coshocton Redskins, they got win number two of the season. So, congratulations to Coach Smith and the Skins. Yeah, they, they you know, it was, it was another toughie, a 7-6 game, an extra point being the difference. Also, uh, they came up with a big interception late in the game in the end zone and managed to hang on and get the W. That's two in a row. Now they uh, have another matchup with uh, uh, West Muskingum, a team that's got a lot of offense. It's going to be a little bit of a different matchup this week. But, you know, they're down at West Muskingum, but they are, they've got a little momentum going it'll be interesting to see how they do and our feature game coming up on Friday night has the Riverview Black Bears back here at home at Don Rushing Stadium yeah I know the Bears come off a really tough loss to last week uh, to John Glenn a team that uh, you know is back and forth it was 14 14 went to overtime John Glenn got it done to win 20 to 14 but you know uh, Riverview is going to be ready to play against Maysville this Friday night it, it's, a, it's a big game for them uh, Maysville comes in four and four uh, they're not a dynamic offensive team so it's going to be an interesting matchup and uh, I look for the Bears to play well now they've had some people out had some injuries if they could get back at full strength you know that makes for a really good Black Bear team it really does and talking with coach Lasecki he'd, he'd tell you the same thing you know the, the injuries and you know you know, the, the sickness that they've had, they've gone through, and they're just hoping that they can piece it together, have enough people available. And he, I believe he feels the, the key people are going to be able to go on Friday night. So join us on Friday night for the pregame show starting at 6.30. Kickoff and play-by-play -play at 7 o'clock with Coos, Steve Corries, and Chris Wallace. That'll be on FM 99.3 WTNS. And we will live stream the game on the WTNS website. You can listen to mywtnsradio.com, see the video, hear the audio, and also check out our link on YouTube. This is Talking Football, brought to you by Coshocton Regional Medical Center, your local health care team supporting local athletics. Coshocton Regional Medical Center, where care matters most. Talking Football is a production of WTNS Sports and Claxon Communications.